Today, in Geneva, the Human Rights Council began its special session on the human rights situation in the occupied Palestinian territory and East Jerusalem. In remarks to the special session, High Commissioner for Human Rights Navi Pillai called for an immediate halt to the recent wave of eviction orders and demolitions of Palestinian houses in East Jerusalem. She said she viewed such practices as viola violations of international humanitarian law. Pillai also reiterated her support for the recommendations of the Gaza fact-finding mission led by Justice Richard Goldstone. She underscored the need for all parties to carry out impartial, independent, prompt, and effective investigations into reported violations of human rights and humanitarian law in compliance with international standards. And we have her full <coughs> remarks upstairs. The Human Rights Council expects to continue its special session tomorrow. In related news, American actress Mia Farrow and Egyptian actor Mahmoud Kabil, both UNICEF Goodwill ambassadors, ended a two-day visit to Gaza today. They went to see firsthand the hardships that children are continuing to face there. The children appear traumatized, Farrow said. She added, the teachers say that when they hear a loud noise, they look to the sky and cry out and weep. They don't know what the future holds. They deserve better. The UNICEF Goodwill Ambassadors also heard from children who are now forced to work in tunnels in order to support their struggling families. Those tunnels are used to smuggle in goods that are otherwise unavailable in Gaza, UNICEF says. Pharaoh will also be visiting Sderot in southern Israel. Meanwhile, the Office of the UN Special Coordinator for the Middle East Peace Process reports that 88 truckloads of goods were transferred into Gaza from Israel yesterday through the Kerem Shalom crossing. Nearly half of those truckloads contained milk, fruit, and straw for animals. In addition, cooking gas and industrial diesel for the Gaza power plant made it into Gaza through the Nahal Oz pipelines, but the Carney conveyor belt crossing was closed.